Thanks. Uh, media along the border have uh, reported that many Haitians are being released into the United States. Uh, can you clarify why they're not being placed on expulsion flights to Haiti? Uh, and does the administration have any concern that these releases undercut the public messaging that Haitians should not come to the border? Well, let me explain to you a little bit of how the process works. So uh, DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, continues to expel migrants under title, CDC's Title 42 authority. Those who cannot be expelled, and this has been the case and been our policy and process for migrants coming from any country around the world uh, under Title 42 and who do not have a legal basis to remain are placed in either uh, expedited, in a form of removal proceedings. And individuals who are not immediately removed are either placed in alternative to detention uh, or transported to an ICE facility. If they are placed in alternative to detention, there's also a process required, a legal document, a document they would have. As a part of that process, Border Patrol agents collect biometric and biographic information, fingerprints, photos, phone numbers, and an address in the United States, and also run a background check uh, as a part of the process. And those who do not report, like anyone who's in our country without legal status, are subject to removal by ICE. I give you all of that to understand the different steps in the process. Obviously, there are flights. We need to have enough flights to transport individuals uh, to Haiti or to other countries. Um, and there are a range of flights, as you know, that are going to uh, different parts of the world, depending, um, and those are in process. So if we're not, uh, if there isn't a flight ready yet, um, those are indivi those individuals may be pl placed in uh, alternatives to detention, and there, as I noted, is uh, this mechanism where these documents are required. Um, and could you offer a uh, follow-up on immigration that uh, went on the schedule today? So Secretary Mayorkas has now been asked twice on the Hill. Uh, and he's not been able to provide an answer to this. So, so I want to ask you, do you have the numbers? How many patients have been deported? How many have been processed? And how many have been allowed to stay in the United States? I certainly understand why you're asking and understand why people have been asking Secretary Mayorkas. Those are numbers that are uh, the, Secre the Department of Homeland Security would have the most up-to-date numbers. But why is it so hard to keep track of a simple number like that? Why can't you give it? Why can't he give it? It's been two days now he's been asked I, that. I'm certain they will provide it. It's an absolutely fair question to ask, and uh, I'm certain he just wanted to have the most up-to-date numbers to provide. Um, on the campaign trail, uh, then candidate, now President Biden said, well, we're going to restore our moral standing in the world and our historic role as a safe haven for refugees and asylum seekers. How does what's happening on the border right now with Haitian refugees square with that? Well, which aspect of what's happening at the border? What's happening with the Haitians? Do you yeah. mean the photos we've seen, or do you the mean photos? Yeah, them. Well, not. well, first, uh, we understand and agree that this has been an incredibly heart-wrenching issue. We've watched the photos of Haitians gathering under a bridge, many with families, and the horrific video of the CBP officers on horse on horses using brutal and inappropriate measures against innocent people. I think it's important to take to address that and separately address what our immigration policies are and understand that people are combining them, but uh, that's why I asked that question. I would also reiterate that there is an invent investigation that will be completed by next week, which the Secretary confirmed, that will determine the next steps on both policy and personnel. All important questions people are asking, and in the interim, those individuals were placed on administration administrative leave and will not be interacting with any migrants. So as it relates with th to those photos and that horrific video, we're not going to stand for that kind of inhumane treatment, and obviously we want this, pro this investigation to be completed rapidly. I will say on the broader question you were asking, the President remains committed to putting in place a humane and orderly immigration system that includes an established and efficient process for applying for asylum, that includes a range of programs for individuals to apply to stay in, in the United States. That requires Congress acting, and it requires also health conditions improving as we are in the middle of a pandemic. And we are continuing to expel people coming from a range of countries as we are continuing to apply Title 42, because there is a global pandemic that is ongoing. So I would think it's important to note that our policies, our border restrictions, are being applied not just to Haitians, but to people who are coming irregularly to migrate to the country from anywhere. 90,000, more than 90,000 people were expelled in August. That was even before what we've seen in the, in the uh, troubling photos under the bridge. We are applying immigration laws. We are applying uh, of what, our, um, what our border requirements, and we are applying Title 42, which again is a health, uh, a health application given we're in a global pandemic. 